Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another video here. In this video here I'm, I'm kind of following up on my other video where I show you know my charge controllers working together in tandem. Um, you know they're working together as opposed to fighting against each other and this is just an example of why I did it. Um, you can see right here I'm pulling about you know I'm sending I'm cooking right now and I'm using 125 amps. Only 25 amps is coming from my battery bank and you can kind of see you know that's how many amps I'm pulling okay um, you know over three kilowatts why because I'm cooking and this thing right here is doing pretty well so um, you know I've got about 99 amps coming in from all sources it was a, it got up to a hundred a second ago and uh, battery bank voltage is down to 26 volts so this particular Con Connex SW actually, you know, does about 3,400 watts, and so I'm at 3,200 watts, and so it's it's really kicking. My battery uh, state of charge is 80 percent, and I've already produced 11 kilowatts today. Um, and just to kind of give you an idea, you know, I am maxed out on the Morning Star. You know, it's an alarm because. It, you know, it, sometimes it goes above 60 amps, and the ch the uh, charge controller has to limit it. And whenever it goes above, slightly above 60 amps, it will go into alarm. Now, I talked to Morningstar Tech Support, and they said, "Hey, that's fine. It, you know, the system is doing exactly what it's supposed to do, so that's no big deal. Uh, so it's nothing to be, you know, so nothing to worry about. So that's doing about 60 amps. And let's see what the uh, Classic is doing, and you can see there the Classic is actually pulling in about 39 amps. Uh, so you know, I have never seen the cla this Classic go above maybe 40, 42 between 42 and 45 amps. Uh, you can see it's pulling in about just over a kilowatt of power. I have a 1400 watt array, um, and, you know, connected to this thing, and so that's actually really good. Uh, so 39 amps coming from here. And I'm cooking with a convection oven. I uh, just finished doing laundry, and I'm cooking with a convection oven. And you can see, you know, hey, I'm really hammering the system. Um, and so this is again the reason why I need both charge controllers to, you know, be outputting as much power as they can give me, uh, because my, as you can see, my battery bank has been charging all day. I use it all night, and uh, it's up to 80%, and I'm only pulling 24 amps from the battery bank. And so this is this system is actually doing pretty well. Um, right now, unfortunately, you know it's yeah. You can see there right there. I'm at 100 100 amps. Um, so yeah, this is what I need it to do. Um, so it's it's doing exactly what I wanted to do, want it to do. Okay. And so um, you know it's it's doing all right. Local time 105. Okay. So you can see it hovering around the high 90s, low hundreds. And uh, that is what you want to see. Okay, hopefully that's what you know what you want to see. So um, also it's in hybrid mode, so you can see that you know from the utility I'm only pulling about maybe 155 watts, uh, or, or yeah, that's about it. You know, it's not really pulling a lot from the utility. And this right here is coming directly all from the battery bank, three kilowatts over three kilowatts, and I'm not even sweating it. Okay. All right, just wanted to show you that as an example of why you want your charge controllers to work together. Okay, take care, you two.